Hey everyone, I want to walk through how I've set up my daily review using iOS shortcuts. So right now we're in the shortcuts application and we're looking at the review folder. Now in here I've got the daily review shortcut and three um, shortcuts that represent specific steps as part of my review. So this setup uh, is very nice for one good reason is that adding new steps to the review process is as easy as duplicating one of these and having them like do whatever they need to do. So in this case here, the first action is basically just using the things app and showing the inbox. Uh, the other three steps are uh, specific to how everything works um, and we'll get to that. So let's take a look at the daily review. So the first action here is just running a home screen shortcut. Uh, this it, it isn't really needed, but it just like pu pushes you to the home screen. Uh, I thought it was nice. Uh, the next action is grabbing all the shortcuts from that folder. And what I'm doing is uh, basically getting all the text of the titles and turning them into one string with commas separating them. And as part of that, I also uh, remove the daily review uh, text because I don't want that as part of uh, what we're about to do. And then I, I encode everything so that uh, I can have shortcuts that have spaces in them essentially. And then this all gets passed to the scriptable action that runs a review script. So let's take a look at that. So this is the review script in scriptables. Uh, it's just some JavaScript. And uh, essentially, we have a function up near the top here that creates a notification for us. Uh, the big benefit here is that I can specify a URL uh, to be used whenever you trigger that notification, like tapping on it. And so the, the normal flow, so we'll kind of just like walk through what would happen here. Um, just using the cursor, so it's kind of tricky. So we get the arguments um, that were passed in. So this is that long string of uh, the, short, uh, the shortcut names. And so we split on the comma, so we get all the different shortcuts. Uh, I use shift here to basically grab the first shortcut. So we're going to basically say this is the next shortcut that we want to trigger, um, which I think in this case is drafts. And then the remaining shortcuts are what is remaining. I mean, what the name says. <laughs> and then we end up creating a notification. And so the notification says the next step is, and this would be drafts, basically, um, or things or whatever it may be. And then the URL, uh, it's kind of long here, but it's using the shortcuts uh, URL scheme to run a shortcut via a, a URL. So you can specify the name. And so in this case here, it's going to be that next shortcuts um, variable that's being used, which in this like initial execution is drafts. And the nice thing is that you can also specify like input um, and uh, input to that shortcut. And so it's going to be some text and that text is the remaining shortcuts. And so um, that's pretty much how the script works. So whenever it, it executes, we get a notification that says next step is drafts. And when you click that, it will run the drafts shortcut with the remaining shortcuts that have to be executed. And if we go back and we take a look at drafts, so um, Safari will open the drafts um, URL scheme basically to open me to the search. And I grab the shortcut input, which in this case would be the remaining shortcuts as part of my review process. I again encode that and then I pass it back to Scriptable, uh, the review script. 
And that process just keeps going and going. And eventually we're gonna get to the point where we have nothing left. So we've completed everything. And so we just have a, a separate case for this. Uh, so a new notification gets created and just saying like, we're done everything. And I just run that home screen shortcut again to just boot me back to the home screen. And that's pretty much it. And so let's actually run this. So we run daily script. We can see that we have our next step is drafts. So we'll tap that. Everything ends up running. Next step is habits. Uh, so the nice thing is, and this is like part of the limitation with shortcuts, just in general, using the uh, wait to return scripting, is that you can time out shortcuts. And so here I can you know, take a look at notes. I can write for five minutes, 10 minutes if I want. I can close the phone and come back to it. Um, as long as I have that um, scriptables notification, it will boot me to the next step. So in this case, I tap it. It puts me into the habits. Um, the notification didn't show, but it's still there. I think it was just um, because I'm recording or something of that sort. So we'll kind of just go through things. And we're at the, the termination case here, done after this, tap that and boost me back to home. That's basically it. I hope you enjoy it.